Hi all, it's Rach from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do the reading for the air signs. This will be for the 18th to the 24th of October 2020. I will start with Gemini and then I'll do Libra and then I'll do Aquarius. Um, if you have seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, um, thanks for watching and I hope it does resonate. If it does, please like, share and subscribe. Um, if it doesn't, that's fine. It's just a general reading. I'm sorry about the light shining over here. To be honest, I've adjusted all my lights and for some reason this light just seems to shine there. I don't know why. Anyway, let's get into the reading. So, uh, don't forget time is fluid, energy is vice versa. Um, and yeah, we'll start with Gemini. I'll do some tarot and then I'll do some oracle as well just to get a bit more information. No. yeah i don't know why that light's there like it looks it looks really cool but like there's nothing there's nothing there so totally bizarre but anyway all right one more i've adjusted all my lamps i've adjusted yeah nothing makes any difference okay gemini 18th Gemini. Oh Ooh, judgment card on the bottom of the deck. This card. Quickly shuffle these. Oh my goodness. Quickly shuffle these and then we'll start. pre-shuffled some of these cards like those ones but just thought I'll reshuffle them anyway it looks like you're in so the first card I can see is you're coming out of mental conflict um, you may be releasing releasing something um, you may be going through indecision confusion feel like you're stuck like you're in denial you're at a stalemate all those kind of things um, because you've got, yeah, mental conflict in reverse. I'll just show you. Sorry about the other light. I don't know how to stop that other light. Anyway, mental conflict. So let's ask, we'll get some cards. So tell me about Gemini's mental conflict. So you've got strength, hermit, and four of swords. So you're obviously doing some work on you. You're doing some introspection with the hermit card. You are going to need to have strength and self-love, unconditional love, have some self-respect. But you might be doing some soul-searching, introspection, all that kind of thing. Um, you are just being alone, maybe having some clarity in a situation as well. Um, you've got four of swords in reverse. So you're feeling exhausted. You're feeling burnt out. Um, you are having that deep contemplation and as I said you're feeling very just like stuck um, on the bottom of the deck you've got nine of pentacles so um, you're just being self-sufficient you're you know being independent it's you do have you know financial material comforts and abundance all those things but yeah it's you're just being kind of by yourself um, you do have high expectations for what you want. You may have been with somebody who was a narcissist, but you do have high expectations for what you know what you want in your life. Um, tell me about mental conflict. There may have been things going on behind the scenes that you maybe don't know about, um, but you do need to release fears. That oh, you got the moon card. Release fears that hold you back. Um, it's all about anxiety and trusting your intuition. Um, there aren't seeing problems. As I said, there's things you maybe don't know about that were going on. Um, and you've also got eight of air where you feel like you're trapped. You have a lack of self-confidence. You're afraid to take action. So it's all about self-imposed restrictions, really. Your negative thoughts, your indecision, your, um, 
you kind of self-sabotage as well but yeah it's more more that two of fire is on the bottom in reverse so um that's all about you're thinking about your future and you're making decisions your contemplation you're going through contemplation you're assessing your life you know what you want for your life all that kind of thing then we have emotional withdrawal so you're withdrawing you're retreating you're moving on you're looking for something better um you know it's all it's just yeah, you're disappointed with what went on. You're kind of just emotionally withdrawing. It's exactly what it says. Tell me about emotional withdrawal. That's too many cards. Maybe one more card. Emotional withdrawal. Yeah, you got six of swords. Um, you, you're doing some work, as I said. It's a personal transition. You're resisting the change. You, you feel like you've got unfinished business for some of you. Um... And it's also like it's really it's, it is there are obstacles but you feel like you just want to release the baggage but you're not doing that you're not just kind of you're resisting that you're resisting the change to kind of move on you just yeah um you got four of pentacles so as i said resisting the change um you are being stubborn you are you have a desire for long-term security so i don't know why you are not some of you might be saving money though as well um but yeah you're resisting the change for sure you have a knight of cups coming though knight of cups whether this is person's already come or whether they're coming but it's it's like a prince charming somebody you need to follow your heart with but it's it's like they're intelligent adventurous you're a bit of a dreamer you know it's yeah the knight of cups i mean that's yeah prince charming um, on the bottom, you've got seven of wands. You're exhausted. You feel overwhelmed, indecisive. Um, but yeah, you definitely have deep seated fears. There might be secrets and you need to release your worry, but there might be secrets going on. Um, so tell me about him. Eight of cups for Gemini. Eight of cups for Gemini. Yeah, um, it's ex you know fifteen. It's it's um the same as the devil card. It's you might have been with somebody who, as I said, was a narcissist, but you may have been with somebody who had addictions, obsessions. You know they're addicted to money, sex, alcohol, drugs, whatever. Um, but yeah, you feel like they give you that false sense of entrapment, and you know. You might be having some negative or fear-based thoughts as well. But as I said, it's very, very similar to that Eight of Cups. Like you are just in your head. Maybe you are, maybe, maybe you maybe you were with somebody like that who you thought was your Prince Charming. It could be that. It could be some of you thought that this person was your Prince Charming. But really, they were the devil. Or maybe the secrets are you have two people or somebody has two people somebody is like the the prince charming and the other person is like the devil could be that maybe that's what you're all confused about um you've got the empress in reverse on the bottom you're depending on other people to make yourself happy maybe it was a codependent relationship as well but things are going to get better you got six of air. So, yeah, it's like moving on. It's releasing baggage, all that kind of thing. Right. Then you've got, you're not trusting your intuition. It's the same as the High Priestess card. So there are secrets, as I said just a minute ago. There are secrets. Um, somebody's disconnected from their intuition, so they're not trusting their intuition or not hearing um, as well. Let me ask about that. Tell me about the High Priestess in reverse for Gemini. Oh, the Devil card again. There are definitely secrets. Um, yeah. 
You need to release whatever limiting beliefs that you have about yourself and detach from the situation with this devil person. You need to trust your intuition and you're not. You've got nine of pentacles again. So that's about just being by yourself, being independent, being self-sufficient. Um, you don't need this other person. King of Wands in reverse, you, which is exactly what you've had before. It was a narcissist person. You have high expectations for, for, for your life, really, for your relationship, for your life. Somebody's very ruthless. They are like the devil. Yeah. And you've got Eight of Pentacles in reverse as well. So somebody is just too focused on one area of their life. They want everything to be perfect. They're a bit of a perfectionist. Um, on the bottom of the deck, you've got the two of wands. It's like you have a fear of, your, of the unknown. You have a lack of, you haven't planned your life. There's a lack of planning with things. You're impatient. There might be inner conflict going on. Um, let me ask what's under that. Four of wands in reverse as well. So, yeah, I mean... Four of Wands in reverse is about um, a personal celebration. It could be conflict with others. You're transitioning. It's a new relationship um, as well. There might be some delay. So tell me about the um, High Priestess in reverse. King of Earth. Oh, no. King of Earth is like a player card. Oh. It's like somebody is a player. As I said, you've already got the devil twice. There's definitely somebody who is acting like a devil. Um, you've got Ace of Fire as well. So you've got a new opportunity. It can mean a new career. Maybe you just focus on your career now. It can mean career advancement. Um, but it's about changing your life. Change your life now. That's what it's about. A new opportunity. It's like you have an opportunity to move on from somebody who was like the devil. Somebody who was addicted, had obsessions, all that kind of thing. Um, you have an opportunity to move on from that now. You're going to need your strength. I feel like I had this exact same feeling with Taurus. I feel tired. Like yawning tired. And I'm so sorry. I don't mean to be rude. I actually feel pretty good myself, but I feel like somebody just, whether this message is for one person, because normally I take on how they're feeling, and I feel really, really tired. Like I'm just, I've had enough. I feel like I'm burnt out. That's how I'm feeling. So whether that's for somebody in particular, I know you've had that, that message. I'm so sorry. I can't help it. I'm going to save myself in a minute because I need to get rid of this energy, but yeah, you're going to need your strength. And if you are feeling how I'm feeling, like maybe go ground yourself, um, sage yourself, have a salt bath, go hug a tree, walk on grass, whatever it is you need to do that suits you because you and rest. You need to just rest. Move on from this person. Um, you, things are going to happen, though. Once you get rid of this person, I think things will happen very quick, very quickly. Um You've got judgment on the bottom of this deck and you've got the chariot card again. And look what you've got on the, the devil card. You've also got the devil card. There are secrets um, as well. But yeah, truth. You've got like it's an absolution. It's you making a final decision, a wake-up call. It's like knowing enough is enough. Um, this is what the person's like. They're not going to change. You've also got the chariot. It's self-discipline. You feel like possibly you have a lack of direction, but your your direction is to move on from somebody who is like the devil. I'm just gonna sage because I don't want to be yawning this whole this whole time. Just give me a second. Okay. All right, let's move on with some oracle. Okay, Gemini. The 
yeah, maybe you need to take some time for you if you feel that way. Okay, Gemini. You need to definitely do some work on your self-image. That's in reverse. You need to do that. Um, turn to your friends. Maybe you need to turn to your friends, get some support, whatever that is. But something is mirroring back as well. Um, yeah, things are going to, as I said, things are going to happen quick. Things are going to happen quick. When this when this is all over, this something is going to happen very quickly. Um, you've got that you're being strung along. But I feel like with one person, you are being strung along, but with the other, you're not. If there is another person. For those people that have two, the two, one of them is like a Prince Charming and you're not being strung along. The other one, you are. Unless the devil person is that one that you thought was Prince Charming, as I said. You feel like you're not being strung along. You think that there's going to be some something permanent, something stable, something in this. It's not. It's not. Um, yeah, like you've even got I like you and it's in reverse. So, I mean, they don't. They're in it for a reason. They're in it because they're a narcissist. They're in it because they, they're getting something from it. Everything's about them if they're narcissists. So... Mm. yeah you've got to manifest exactly oh, oh goodness you've got to manifest exactly what it is you do want not what you don't want um stop wasting time with things that are not for your benefit yeah you need to release the expectations you need to let go Release the attachment. Whatever negative attachment you have, which is this devil person, you need to release. There might be some um, challenges. Trust your intuition. Follow your intuition. When you manifest, you need to be specific as whatever, whatever you want. Very Be very, very specific. Because otherwise you'll get what it is you're asking for. You need to be very, very specific. Um, it's like you're not moving on. You're not, you're not moving on. You're still tossing up with this person, which I guess is the indecision. Um, your beliefs create your reality. And whatever, whatever your beliefs are are going to come true. So if you can manifest and you want something better for your life, then make it happen. Manifest. And believe it is manifested already. Because something is going to come true and you will get what you want. It's just, yeah, what is it you're asking? Okay, Gemini, one card. Okay, we've got three cards. Um, four cards. Yeah, you need to do some heart-mind balance. Look into that. Make sure your heart and your and your heart and your head are alignment. You can do like balancing, emotional healing, all that kind of thing. Um, you may have known someone in your past life. You've got to be grateful for whatever blessings you do have and believe that anything is possible. Um, you need to actually get out there. Believe that whatever you do, whatever you, you know, the world is like your oyster. The world is a big place. There's, It's, it's pretty much saying like there's many fish in the sea kind of. It's like you can put yourself out there, you go and enjoy your life, have, you know, learn the cycles and get out there. Go and experience, you know, new things. Go and ex meet new people. That's how you meet people because you're definitely on some sort of journey. Maybe you need to spend time in nature as well, but you may have known this person in a past life, possibly for some of you. Okay, 
Gemini. Um, I don't know if you are very spiritual or whether you've thought about maybe you need to turn to spirituality or maybe even um, just believe that the universe is there for you and if you need help, ask for it. Um, but yeah, you want domestic harmony. That is what you want. You might need to do something fun and do some physical activity as well. I mean, domestic harmony is where you're at, where you're wanting to go. You want peace in yourself. You want peace in your environment. Um, I think you'll get that, though. You just have to sort out your situation with this devil person. You might be having dreams. Maybe listen to whatever messages they're giving you. Um, in, you need to just do things for yourself, make decisions for yourself, be independent, be, as I said, self-sufficient, all those things. And things are going to happen quickly. It's, it's like, don't wait, take action. That's what it's telling you. Um, something you might need patience right now while you do all this stuff, but you know, once you clear, you've got to clear and get rid of any kind of negative attachments, as I've been saying. Um, but yeah, I mean, it looks like good things are gonna come, it's just a matter of you've got things are gonna get better. There was the card saying things are gonna get better, so. Yeah, I feel like I feel like for a lot of you, you felt like that person was your was a prince charming because I mean that's what narcissists are. They make you think they're amazing people. Gemini. Um, awaken your passion. You need to do something fun that you're passionate about, and listen to your intuition. You know, you know, you know, you know that. Like, you know, you know that you know that you know that somebody is not how they appear or that they are a narcissist or they are whatever. You know this. Learn to scan your body. Now, this talks about if you feel like you, you know, with chakras or if something's out of a balance, look at the different you know, ways that the, the different symptoms and you can find, you can learn to be able to scan your own body, but you, you know, if something's going on with yourself, um, you need to nourish your body and soul as well. Um, but you need to listen to whatever your body's telling you, because I'm telling you, I know I can feel some of you are just worn out. You're burnt out. You are tired. Like I want to go to sleep right now. It definitely ain't me. I'm not tired. I'm actually feeling pretty good today, but yeah, right now, I'm tired, I'm drained. And I can't stop yawning. Okay, Gemini. You are feeling lost, confused, and lonely. Uh, maybe that's why you're still tossing up with this person. You need to heal it and release it. And surrender to the universe that whatever's going to happen is going to happen. Um, yeah, there are cycles. Everything goes through cycles. We go through experiences so we learn from them. And we also need to transform ourselves as well. Like So we get some self-love, self-worth, you know, worth, all that sort of stuff. And what that, that will then help what we tolerate. Um, you've also got Enchanted Forest, which is that mystery, magic, excitement. As I said, the world is a big place. It's like, you know, get out there. Get out there and, and see for yourself. Like, live your life. Have some fun. You know, life is too short. And break free from a negative attachment. As I keep saying, this person is like a really negative attachment you need to just get rid of. yeah love love is coming it's just not here self-love love all that sort of stuff but you need to cleanse and you also have an insight and you need to transition and get some self-love and some courage and do something fun as much as all of the other cards have all said they're all here um but yeah definitely work on yourself and get some self-love 
Oh my god, my nails are starting to frustrate me with this. I took off my tablecloth thing that I had, and um, now I've got just the table, but my nails don't seem to like it all that much. Okay. Last lot. You need to speak your truth and work on you, as I said. Um, maybe there's something to do with animals. Maybe you are really anim a big animal person. If you are a real animal person, um, maybe spend some time around animals. They raise your vibration, make you feel good. They always make you feel good. And they're all about, you know, just unconditional love, aren't they? Um, you might, if you don't deal with this, you are going to have what is like a tower moment. The tower moment or the tower card is all about really unwanted change. It's like a chaos. It's revelation. It's an awakening. It's ruin. It's like dreadful. Normally, it's when we don't want to deal with something, the universe goes, you know what? If you're not going to deal with it, here I come. You are going to have that kind of moment if you don't deal with it. Some lightning moment. Um, but yeah, you need to cleanse you, purify you, just work on you. Um because that's yeah that's how you're going to get the self-love and the self-worth and just yeah you need to do the work on you but um anyway that is the reading for gemini i will sage myself and sage the space and shuffle the cards and get them all organized and then i will come back and we will start with libra i will catch you soon um if this is where you're leaving me now um, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and um, I will catch you with the next video, but yeah, I'll see you soon with Libra. Okay, I seem to have fixed the uh, the light, which is really good. I don't know what happened. Anyway, now this reading will be for Libra. Yeah, I'm not sure. There was some big light just shining down here before. All right. Let's start. Libra. Okay, tell me about Libra for the 18th of the 24th. One more. And then we'll start. So the first one I can see is you've got the star card in reverse. And that's all about you just having like a faith. There might be some self-trust issues. You maybe have a dis you feel like you've got a disconnection with the universe or God or whoever you believe. me about the star card in reverse libra so you've got the six of swords on the bottom which is about you transitioning it's releasing the baggage having a new perspective so that's on the bottom of the deck um you're actually been working on yourself maybe and getting a bit of self-confidence um but you are holding back Either some of you are holding back or some of you are just being, you know, major risk takers. But you feel like you have a lack of hope about a situation. But, yeah, some of you are just holding back. You're not, like, having a fresh start and taking chances. Um, you've also, it's all about your love life. It's now you need to just do some self-love. 
as I said, there might be an imbalance. There might have been a misalignment with values with you and your ex or the person that you had a thing with. I don't know. Tell me about the star card in the universe. Um, you've come into your own though and you are continuing to move forward. Um, you are contemplating and thinking about, you know, the future. Um, you are assessing your life. Some of you might be thinking about traveling, but you are kind of making up decisions and, and thinking about moving forward. The wheel card is also in reverse though. You, you, maybe you've gone through a bit of bad luck. You're resisting moving on from whatever this was. You need to break the cycle, but you don't really want to. On the bottom, you've got the magician. It's like in reverse. So you maybe were manipulated as well in the past. Um, you, I, I feel like for a lot of you, it was more just, yeah, manipulation then we've got and also i mean that's also a lack of manifesting maybe you just weren't manifesting what it is you do want either or manifesting incorrectly could even be that um so then we've got um material and spiritual prosperity in reverse so you need to do some self-care um you might have been in a very one-sided I see that as a one-sided relationship for some people I've noticed. There may be some unpaid debts you need to pay back um, to that person. Tell me about that, Libra. Yeah, you need to release whatever it is. You're feeling like you are, there's some indecision. You're feeling like you're at a stalemate. You're in denial that, you know, whatever's gone on, you're in denial. You may have involved three people, but... You, for some of you, you were cheated on. Others, it was more just you were betrayed. Maybe you got a bit of a broken heart, broken relationship. It's like a breakup. Divorce for some people. You were rejected. Going through emotional pain. That is what that card means. Um, but yeah, you need to just kind of, or you are isolating and withdrawing from that. You feel very lonely as well. Um... But yeah, the person may have been a fraud, a liar, lazy, jealous, you know, all those kind of things. They may be like, yeah, wore a mask. They kind of betrayed themselves as one type of person and they were very different. Um, but yeah, things are going to happen slow for you, I feel. But you will move on. You've, you've got to move on from this. So tell me about that for Libra. Yeah. So we'll start with Seven of Air. It's the same as the Seven of Swords, but it's in reverse. It's like maybe you were keeping secrets as well. Maybe it wasn't all just them. Um, Self-deceit as well. You've got Three of Fire. Um, which is the same as three of wands. Um, that's just about you progressing. Um, there might be some opportunities that come about. Um, you can, you will you contemplate your life. You might end up, you know, very happy and have some adventures and be grateful for what you have. But you've got to. It's foresight. So things are going to start getting better. Like things, yeah. Think it's it's knowing things are going to get better. You just need to have patience right now. But things, as I said, things are going to take time. Just like I said here. But things are going to take time. But things are going to get better. Um, you also have the Knight of Cups in this deck. So here it was reversed. Here it's upright. Oh, you got it here, sorry. It was on the bottom of the deck. So here was all about... Um, Somebody who was possibly your ex, who was a fraud, a liar, jealous, you know, all that kind of thing. Might have described you, but I don't know. Whoever it is, don't forget, they, you know, energy can be vice versa. It could be either person. Um, but you've got Knight of Water here. So it's like Prince Charming. It doesn't have to be male or female. It can be either or. But some new person. It's a new romance. It's, you know, following your heart. It's some sort of, yeah, somebody is going to come in. So that's on the bottom of the deck. So just be aware that somebody is coming. It's just going to take time. Then we have Judgment Card. 
which is um, all about just a wake up call. It's a final decision. It's like, okay, you know what? I have to move on. I don't want to keep holding on to this crap. Tell me about the judgment card, Libra. You're putting up your boundaries, which is good. Um, you've got the nine of wands. So you are putting up your boundaries. You, it's, it's possibly a test of faith from you, maybe from the universe, God, whoever. You need to be persistent. You need to be, have your courage. You need to be resilient. Um, have your strength and, yeah, put up your boundaries so you don't end up hurt again. Um, you've got eight of cups in reverse. So you are walking away from something. Some of you may be going through still indecision, but you will make a decision. You will walk away from whatever this is. Um, you are thinking back, though, about the past, about what, what was, the happy times, all that kind of thing. You know, you had hope to get old with this person, you know, and you've got two of cups. So two of cups is a romantic love. It's like I feel it's mutual attraction, though. So, you know, you've got somebody coming and I feel like they are going to come. It's just there will be compatibility. There will be mutual attraction. There will be marriage, whoever wants marriage, you know, that kind of thing. If you're in a relationship, it's marriage, it's a proposal. It's all those things that you, you know, two of cups, it's romantic love. It's letting you know that it is coming. Um, you do have king of wands on the bottom. So you have high expectations for your love life. Um, you might be a bit impulsive. Somebody might have been ruthless. You may have been with a narcissist, so or you are a narcissist, just be aware. Um, don't be impulsive because, as I said, things are going to take time. Um, yeah, it's all about abundance and somebody who's very beautiful. Um, pregnancy could be there for some of you. Maybe you are a parent already. But yeah, six of six of swords. You are you're resisting the change. You feel like there's unfinished business with this person. Tell me about the truth card. Judgment card. These are so uncredo shuffle, but they send out the right cards. Um so you've got King of Earth. Now, King of Earth is a player card, majority of the time. It's somebody who's obsessed with money and wealth and all those things. This may have been the person that also you were dealing with before. You've got Seven of Water on the bottom. You've got to, you're going to have to use your willpower. You might feel overwhelmed by whatever choices you've got to make. Um, but you are determined. You need to just listen to your intuition. Oh my God, this is all in one card. Listen to your intuition, have patience and consider carefully what you want before acting. Trust yourself. There may be secrets that you don't know that went on with this person. Um, but you are going to move on. You are going to move on. That's on the bottom of the deck. You are going to move on to other something better. On the bottom of this one, you've got spiritual strength and you need to speak your truth. And maybe do some healing of your heart chakra as well. Um, but yeah, you definitely have to speak your truth. Don't suffer in silence. Reach out if you need to. Um, but yeah, you've got spiritual strength here. So you've got to have your resilience and your courage. And as I said, it may be a test of faith for some of you. But put up your boundaries and, and you know, if you need help from the universe, God, whoever you believe, make sure you ask. That's what that is. It's having courage and resilience and you know all those things let's ask get some oracle cards to go with it i mean things are going to get better it looks like things are going to improve for you so it's just a matter of getting past this and getting over this past person or people whatever this is Libra. Ultimate love. Yeah, look, release your past. Forgive others in yourself. Like somebody, you've got an ultimate love, like coming. Like, yeah. Um, you've got to go with the flow. There's overcome adversity, all those things. It's like now things will start getting better. Love where you are. Appreciate where you are. Be grateful for what you have, but love where you are at the moment because things are going to get better. Um, 
you've got a paradigm shift in reverse. It's like all about growth and cycles and change. At the moment, you're not doing that. Um, negativity. I mean, get over the negative self-talk. Quit your complaining. Um, I feel like some of you were doing that, but some of you still need to continue to do that. You may be looking at things like you're the victim. Stop playing the victim and, and know things are going to get better. You have to have harmony with your heart and like head and heart. Uh, manifest, maybe watch my video on manifestation or look into it. Google that for yourself. Um, find out how to do it correctly. And love all of you. Love, get some self-love. Love, love you, The world reflects back and sends you what it is you're putting out to the universe. So if you're putting out that you're depressed, negative, sad and whatever, you're just going to get more crap. If you put out that you're positive and happy and, you know, love life, you're going to get a whole heap of different things back because negative people won't want to be around that. And you don't want to be around negative people. They may be attracted to you, but you're not going to be attracted to them. You're going to be like, hell no, give me something better. So, yeah, you don't want to hear, deal with it today, but you do need to put up your boundaries, like I've been saying, and deal with it today. Take some action. Um, healthy choices in love and life, self-love, self-care, do all that. You need to do work. <coughs> Sorry, the sage has gone up my nose. Um, you maybe have abandonment issues or we're in a codependent relationship and you're moving on from that. You will move on from that. You need to release the toxic whatever that is release it and evolve to the next phase at the moment it's reversed because you're not um yeah you're not completely over with this person yet um you can change that when when you do hopefully soon because things are going to get better libra oh sage is up my nose okay one card for Libra. Okay, you've got three. You need to be a leader in your own life. Take back your own power. Pay attention to synchronicities was underneath that. Do some rebirth work on you. Um, and look, you've got love. Love is coming. Self-love, love, all kinds of love. It's coming. You just need to get rid of this crap. You've got to do the completion. As I said, learn the cycle. If you learn the cycle, you're going to get love. You've got to learn the cycle first. Break the cycle so you don't keep repeating the same kind and attracting the same kind of people. Okay, so we've got one card. Oh, look, you got love on the bottom of this deck too. Like love is coming. Look, the guy is here, heading here behind the tree. Like somebody might be watching you. Somebody does like you, but at the moment you need to just take some time, get some inner peace, just have a salt bath, spend time in nature, relax, all those things. You've got warrior and leadership. You're like, you had both of them. It's like, take back your own power, you know, put up your defenses, um, be, act like a warrior, you know, strong and, and, you know, resilient and you have courage and strength and all those things. You need to be that kind of person. And if you need angels, reach out to them. Reach out and ask for somebody to be there. But yeah, things are going to get better. I feel like things are going to get better for you. The quicker you can... I mean, things are going to take time. They're not going to happen quickly. But you need to release this first. Release any kind of negative attachments. Libra. Okay. Attract success, and success in red is generally love. Um, but, yeah, calm your body, mind, and soul. On the bottom, you've got awaken your creativity and protect yourself. I mean, warrior, hello. What more can I say, really? All the same, protect yourself, protect your heart so you don't end up getting hurt. Put up your boundaries. What you're willing to tolerate from somebody. And if you need some spiritual strength, ask. Turn to your circle of support. Ask. Oops. You've got release, which is no surprise, is it? 
Protection. Look, on the bottom of the deck, protection. You've got to protect your heart. You may be at a crossroads, but you have to protect your heart. Um, you've got on the bottom release, like you have to release the negative attachments, as I keep saying, and transition. At the moment, that's in reverse because you're not transitioning to something else. You need to. On the bottom of these ones, you have got, you are moving on from the seductress kind of deceit kind of person. You, um, you are getting over your loss and hurt. Um, you need to do some emotional cleansing though. As I said, maybe with like the salt bath in the picture just before. And look at, you know, love you for you as a complete person. Do some purification work. But yeah, it's exactly the same as that little... The little picture with the bath definitely just take some time for you go and do a salt bath spend time in nature everything's involving water and it's like water and nature for you okay Libra. Count your blessings, be grateful. It looks like you're not taking any kind of action at the moment. You need to do something creative, whether it's dance or whatever. But count your blessings, be grateful. You need to have faith, like I've already said, and have your courage, which is what I've already said. Last lot. Pretty much it's all saying the same kind of stuff. Which is good. It should. Okay, leave that one card. Maybe do some affirmations and learn how to manifest correctly, like I've been saying. And on the bottom of the deck is freedom. Just be by yourself. Be independent, like it keeps saying. Just be by yourself. Enjoy your independence. Get out there. Maybe do some energy balancing as well. Well, that is what I have for Libra. Thanks for watching. And if you leave me here, please like, share and subscribe. And um, I'll catch you next time. And otherwise, I'll be back in a minute once I cleanse um, Sage and shuffle the cards and stuff and get reset. And then I'll move on to Aquarius. Okay, I'll join. see you soon. Bye. Okay, I'm back. So we have Aquarius to go for the air signs. Okay, Aquarius. Tell me about Aquarius. I don't know if you can hear that, that is pouring rain. Bring on summer, I say. Okay, tell me about Aquarius. Aquarius. Oh, this is looking good for Aquarius. Oh, too many cards. This one, one card for Aquarius. Well, I think I spoke too quick. Overall, it's not too bad. The beginning, anyway, is not too bad. So you've got prosperity begins and fertility are the first two cards. So the fertility is like the Empress card. So the Empress card is all about um, beauty and nature and nurturing, nurturing yourself, abundance, nurturing you and others, um, abundance. It can be the fertility, creation of something new. It can mean pregnancy. It can also mean you're a parent already. And it's just a way of letting me know you're a parent. Um, you've also got Prosperity Begins, which is like the Ace of, Ace of Pentacles. But that's all about 
um, starting afresh. It can be prosperity, some financial rewards, some new job, promotion, all that sort of thing. And I always think it can be a new relationship because look, I mean, they're growing. It's like reaping rewards of a relationship, something, something good. So let's ask. So tell me about Aquarius. Yeah, you've got the lover's card. So it's definitely about love, harmony, relationships. Uh, the strength of two people. It's about a partnership and your choices. So definitely, as I said, it's about a relationship. You've also got the fool. So it's about a new beginning. Maybe you've had a new, you've decided, you know what? I'm going to take, take a chance, have a new path and beginning, uh, fresh hope, be a free, maybe you, for some of you, you want to be a free spirit. I'm not saying that, but for, for others, it's like you just want to have a new beginning with that person with somebody and you've got the sun card i mean that is the most positive card on the bottom you know on the deck in the deck i mean sorry i can't talk it's like material happiness it's success warmth positivity fun all those things um i mean you want does your desire is to have long-term security as well um you might be saving money some of you are resisting change or being possessive but some of you are greedy, but yeah, majority of you, that's what that's about. Okay, tell me about Aquarius, Ace of Pentacles, and the Empress. Eight of Earth, which is Eight of Pentacles. It's like somebody, somebody might be too focused on an area of their life, though, or they have no ambition for anything. They're maybe a perfectionist as well, but maybe they just... Yeah, they have no ambition. Maybe they even just sort of like, I know it's all about love and maybe this is not job related. Maybe it's just a, it's not like they have no ambition, but it's like it's easier to stay in your comfort zone. I don't know why I have that feeling. But so maybe some of you, it's just easier to stay there. On the bottom, you've got the chariot in reverse. So it's about self-discipline. As I said, maybe you just have a lack of direction. Yeah. Maybe you need some willpower. Then we have the foundation and achievements. Um, so for me, I mean, that or you can see that there's a happy family on the card. Sorry about the stupid light. Happy family on the card with a rainbow. It's like happy times. Um, so it can mean happy home. It can mean you're moving on and leaving the past behind. As I said, fresh beginning. Um, it can also mean, you know, relaxation and harmony in the home, joy, all that sort of thing. So tell me about that for Aquarius. Oh my God, so many cards. You've got a lot of cards here. So the hangman is all, and it's in reverse. So it's like there's resistance, stalling. You don't really want to, as I said, you're feeling like you're stuck. You've got no perspective. Six of pentacles. It's like um, maybe you need to give or receive help. It's all about that kind of thing with somebody. I always look at the picture though, right? So he's paying attention to one person and there's three people in the card right three people remember that you've got the three of swords now this is reversed right so three of swords is all about releasing the pain and it's about negative self-talk forgiveness but that's because upright that means betrayal divorce you know being cheated on all that kind of thing but it's like you're forgiving somebody for whatever they've done and you're releasing the pain but as i said there are three people maybe you just you're having a fresh beginning from somebody who cheated on you because you've also got the player card the king of wands like sorry the king of um pentacles is like the player see look he's got three people right there's him who's naked he's naked with these two other people here and all he's concerned about is the money money and his happiness what he his needs so as i said this person may you're moving on from someone 
maybe you just forgave them and you're moving on. I don't know what that is. Um, you've got seven of pentacles in reverse. It's like something, there's just slow progress to something. Maybe slow progress to moving on from something. You've also got the queen of wands. You need courage, confidence. You need to be independent. Um, independent you. Um, you might be very attractive, but it's all about you just taking back your own independence, really. Six of wands you've got. Um, that's all about kind of like lack of confidence, which is why I said you need to be like the queen of wands. Queen of, yeah, queen of wands. Um, but ten of pentacles as well. So that's all about, and it's in reverse. It's like somebody is just dull and lazy and maybe this is just, as I said, it's easier to stay in your comfort zone. And it's, maybe it's due to money. Maybe it's due to kids. Maybe it's due to all those sort of things. Um, you've got eight of pentacles on the bottom, so you've got no ambition, as I said. You're too er focused on one area of your life. It's easier to stay where you are. Okay, tell me about... Tell me about the uh, four of wands. The lover's card is in reverse. I mean, that means you need some self-love. Underneath that, you've got the devil card. So self-love, maybe there was a misalignment of values with the person because maybe they were acting a bit like the devil. Cheating, addicted to drugs, uh, addicted to sex, drugs, alcohol, money, whatever that is. They might have obsessions, you know, all that sort of stuff. Whatever, they're acting like the devil and I think you need to get some self-love because they were like that, which is what I've been saying here. They're a bit of a player. Um... They might, you might be in a bit of a controlling relationship as well. Um, maybe they're a bit of a strategic planner. Um, you feel isolated, lonely and withdrawn. And you've also got to a fire. So um, it's like you fear the unknown. Um, you haven't really made a plan either. But there's inner conflict going on. Do I stay? Do I not stay? Whatever. As I said, I think you're trying to move on from that. You're trying to move on from and forget that the person did that. Right. Then we've got eight of cups in reverse. You're walking away or you try want to try again. You're kind of undecided which one, which option should I go with. So there are going to be obstacles and challenges. It's like because you've got a lack of confidence. There might be those sort of things. Um, and you've got the solar plexus chakra as well. So um, the solar plexus chakra is all about taking back your own power and vitality, willpower, self-esteem, confidence, all those sort of things. It's your inner feeling, like trust your intuition. Be careful of people who drain your energy as well. Let's ask about those things for Aquarius. You got the sun card again. It's like, as I said, joyous outcome, material happiness, all those things. Um, Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups is about moving on. You're feeling abandoned, you're withdrawing, you're retreating, you're looking for something better. Um, yeah, Four of Pentacles. You've had this one before already too. You want the long-term security. You might be stubborn and you're saving money, resisting the change, all those things. And you've got three of pentacles, three yet again. Um, which is, I mean, that's like teamwork and collaboration, or it could mean three people. As I've said. I feel like... I don't know. You've got the tower in reverse, right? Which is working on you. It's fearing the change. And it's like you want to do whatever you can do to just not have a tower moment. You don't want to have change. You are just happy staying where you are um, and de dealing with what you know to be true. Maybe putting a blindfold on to pretend you, you just ignore. If you ignore it, it won't, it won't affect you. You know what? It doesn't work that way. If you don't deal with this, the tower is eventually going to, got the universe is going to go, well, you're not dealing with it, so I'm going to. And you're going to end up with a tower moment, which is a really unwanted change. It's it's chaos, awake, it's ruin, it's, you know, like, just 
upheaval. It's horrible. Um, tell me about that for Aquarius. Yeah, you felt like this person was your Prince Charming, though. Or maybe for other people, they come across like that. They come across like this Prince Charming, this, you know, it's all romantic and, you know, whatever. Maybe that's how this person is coming across. You've got Five of Earth as well in reverse. And it's like, um, it's courage, revival. It's, you know, recovering from that loss doesn't have to be financial for some of you it might be financial others it's just a loss um you as i said you don't choose to move on you want to just stay there it's easier the better the better the devil you know it's easier if you've got kids and you've got money and you've got whatever do you really want to be walking away and um yeah that's why you're undecided but yeah, I feel like it's just, I don't know. You know, you know the situation. Um, you've got recognition and reward in reverse as well. So you're worried about what other people think. You're obsessed with details about what this person did. Um, yeah. I don't know. I don't feel like that's something you're going to forget anytime soon. And you're going to wonder if it's still happening. Okay, Aquarius. Yeah. It's like, yeah, as I said, you don't want the relationship to be over. You're just going to kind of just keep keep on keeping on. Um, there's no progression. You're not moving on. You're not getting closure issues. Exactly what I just said. Um, and you need to change your perception. Um, somebody might be watching, stalking, looking. I don't know what that is. Um, you've got no faith that love is going to come. You just are going to stay where you are. So therefore, you 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 know you're not seeing the deception. You're not going through the heartbreak yet. Exactly what I just said. It's like a codependent relationship. It's like same shit, different day. I feel like every time I do these readings, it's same shit, different day. It's like, you know, you know what this person did. You know what this person possibly is still doing, but you are still staying. Curious. Yeah, you need to forgive others in yourself. You need to release the past. You need to let go, watch it flow, be more, be more uh, light-hearted because you're just going to burn out. Um, so you haven't learnt the cycle. You're trying to control the situation. It's like nature's timing, you know. As I said, the tower moment will happen. Um, you need to make healthier choices. Look after you. Do some self-care. Rest if you need. All that kind of stuff. Passion just tried to jump out at me. And friendship. Maybe you need to do something passionate that you enjoy doing, raise your vibration, and also, you know, make some friends, talk to talk to your friends, get that circle of support, whatever it is. Aquarius. Yeah, you need to do some sort of emotional release, as I said. Even, go, even if it means go standing on a cliff and screaming at the top of your lungs, who cares what it is? You just need to be some sort of emotional release. And maybe do some shark rebalancing as well. You can find places that do that. Or you can just do a meditation, a guided meditation on um, balancing your chakras. Or you can wear different crystals, whatever, you, whatever you, you're into. I did a video on that sort of stuff, just basic basic chakras. Maybe, pay, maybe go and check that out. I'm not a chakra expert by any means. You need to do things in moderation and work on you. And you want domestic harmony, but at the moment, it's 
I think it is, it's fine because it's easier to not deal. It's like, you're not following your dreams. There's no effort being put in and love is reversed as well. It's like, is there a love here or is it just, you're just there because... Because of the kids, because of the money, because of the whatever. Okay, one card for Aquarius. There it is, or two cards. You need to trust your intuition is on the bottom. Um, yeah, work on you, get some self-confidence. And also clarity and freedom, rise above, be independent and just take back your own independence. That's what that's saying. Yeah, you need to calm your mind, body, and soul. Do something, as I said, and you've got even mind, body, and soul. Look, lavender, emerald, emerald is to balance it. Lavender is all about your body, mind, and soul connections. I mean, how funny is that? They're both on the bottom. Um, so you want to attract success. Red, red is generally love. You want to attract that. Scarlet, picture red. Um, awaken your passion, do something you're passionate about, as I said. And green is all about your nervous system. Maybe your nervous system is affected. Um, stress will not make that any better. And in a, not, not having inner peace will make it worse as well. So look after you, look after your body. Maybe go and get some like spiritual healing done or sort out your life, really. Very nice. Easier said than done, though. Use your wisdom. Um, trust your, the universe or ask if you need guidance, ask for that. Um, figure out what it is you want for your life. What goals do you, what do you want? What is it you want with your life? Life is short. What is it you're after? Um, you want a connection. It's like, you know, this is the card for connection. It's all about connection with somebody or asking the universe is a big place. Just remember that. Plenty of fish in the sea. Another popular quote. Oops, I think my thing's breaking. Okay, so Chris. Transition, yeah. You need to transition, work on you, sort out your life, like I just said. And also communicate how you feel. Communicate what you think. Communicate, speak your truth. Oh, goodness gracious. Since I've got nails, I mean, I've had nails for a long time, but I've taken off my um, tablecloth. Because of that, I can't pick up the, the cards with my nails on my table for some reason. So I have to kind of slide them all. <laughs> it's a bit of an inconvenience. But I kind of like not having the other mat on. And plus it's wood. More all about nature and wood is good. Okay, last cards. Aquarius. Come on, what does Aquarius need to know? Have compassion. Whatever you're going through, make sure you do it compassionately. Um, you're not attracting abundance. And as I said, this lightning moment, it's like at the moment you are resisting change. If you don't deal with it, it's going to end up in a tower moment. Um, so, yeah, just be very careful. And at the moment, the abundance is the opposite way. Um, probably because you're not dealing so it's easier to stay in the, the safety of the comfort zone you know. Anyway, um, that is what I have for Aquarius. 
Um, thanks for watching. And if it does resonate, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Um, I will be sorting all this stuff out and then I will move on to water signs. So I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Okay, bye.